What's going on, Charles Botenston? I would say this is going to be a quick video. So 22 was a perfect age of me coming out of college. Well, it took me a while. I, I walked, which means that you walk across the stage, but they didn't give me the diploma because I didn't officially graduate. I didn't tell my parents and my family, even though they were in the audience, until afterwards that, by the way, I didn't actually graduate. I walked with my class. So that means, because at York College, where I went to school, no one's heard of it, I know, blah, blah, blah. But it, it was literally the best four years of my life for the simple fact of who I am now is, or who I became is because of that. So number one is that I would tell myself, have faith. Have faith. It's all going to work out. You hear that a lot. But the faith part also is very important now. Have faith that you're going to figure it out, that you have your direction. Because for me, this was in a nutshell. I didn't graduate at 21 or 22, whenever you're supposed to. So I had to take a semester course in two weeks, then a summer program, then the fall semester. And I had to pay for all that. Okay. So I, I, had, I bought my first book that year ever <laughs> and actually read it. That was my first real book and that was Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. And right after that, I read How to Win Friends and Influence People and I said, I can actually read to get better. I can actually read to have some kind of impact on people. I had no idea. I was completely ignorant. I was completely closed-minded. No idea. 11 years later, which is right now, I look back at myself, have faith. Number two is keep learning, keep growing, be open. That is confidence right there. That's the only way that you can get confidence is having the faith, keep pushing, being persistent, and then right on top of that is being open to change, being open to new ideas, new things, whether it's from society tells us all the things that we should know, you should believe this, you should believe that, you know, whether you, you belong to a church or a synagogue. Listen, I go to church, it's nothing against that, but you have to, you have to be open. All right, and it's nothing against the church. I wish they went back to the Bible, to be honest. All right, or or if you're Jewish, go back to the Torah. You know, those are the two books that were written. That's the the framework of life. I shouldn't probably kill anybody. I probably shouldn't cheat on my wife. You know, those things. And the other is that life gets better. I I, I didn't I didn't see that because I had friends that went to incredible universities: UVA, Duke, you know, Quinnipiac, which is like seventy or eighty thousand dollars right now. They went to Villanova, all these schools that I had no shot of getting into, no shot. And I, and I thought because I didn't get into those schools, because I wasn't good at school, that that was my determinant in, in life. And then sure enough, I got out of school and I said, oh, okay, I can actually read how to get better. So number one, keep learning, be open, have faith, and things are going to get better. All right? That's all literally intertwined. So have an awesome day. Subscribe to the video. What are the things that you tell your 22-year-old self if you're younger or if you're older, your 22-year-old self in the comments below. Have an awesome day.